Yes, you. Welcome to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast, a podcast for people who want to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. I'm your host, Jen Glantz, and every week I'll drop a new episode with stories from real people just like you who woke up one morning and decided to make big changes, starting with small things. We'll cover topics like entrepreneurship, love, failure, and self-care. Hey, you're not getting any younger, so let's make this an adventure. Ready? Hey, hey, any youngers, what's going on? How you doing? It's me, your host, Jen Glantz. Welcome back to another episode of the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. I'm so grateful that you're here. It's December and everyone likes to say that December is a relaxing month where you barely have to do any work and all you get to do is eat some pie. But newsflash, for so many of us, it is the most chaotic and stressful and overwhelming month of the year, let alone the month where there's just so much pressure on you to change things and fix things and and do things you've been putting off all year or things you know you have to do before it's January and then it's just going to feel so much more overwhelming. I've been posting a lot about this on social media that the art of the holiday season is very deceptive because from social media and from what people are telling you, they like to walk around and pretend that everything is fine. But the truth is the holiday times are the most stressful and scary and sad for so many people who you would look at and have no idea. If you didn't know this already, most of what you see on social media is fake. Yeah, people are smiling in the pictures and they're writing captions that make you think they're living a better life than you or they're just living such a great life and maybe they are, but most of them aren't. There are so many studies out there that show a lot of the most unhappy people are posting the happiest things on social media. Not only that, but when you run into people and wish them a happy holiday or ask them how they are, they're very quick this time of year to just tell you, yeah, things are great. I'm so excited it's the holidays. But those are the same people who are oftentimes going home and feeling sad and feeling lonely and feeling a whole lot of things they did not express to you in that moment because maybe it wasn't the right moment. My biggest ask this holiday season is to be kind to the people around you. And I'm not talking about smiling at them or wishing them a happy holiday. I'm talking about diving deep into the people you care about and just making sure you're there for them. And I know that that's so generic and vague and people are asking, well, what does it mean to be there for a person? And it just means that, be there. Be there. That's it. It doesn't mean send them baskets of chocolate or it doesn't mean ask them how they are. It just means to be present, to call them up, to invite them for coffee, to do something, anything, to remind them that they're not alone and even if they're suffering in secret, you're there for them. I know the holidays are are super challenging and stressful and even if you have a great life and things are going very well for you and I'm sure there's a lot of you listening that feel that way and there's a lot of you listening that laugh at that too but either way you're finally at some point this holiday season going to feel a moment of stress and when you do I want you to save this podcast as your meditation meaning let's say you are at a holiday party or you're about to go to work for a big project or something in your life is just stressing you out I want you to save this episode as a meditation for you to play and walk yourself through. And I'll keep it short, I'll keep it sweet, I'll keep it something that you can just have on hand with you. And I'll be the first to say, I'm not a meditator. I don't do this often, I don't meditate, I can't sit still for more than 30 seconds, my mind is constantly spiraling out of control with everything I have to do. But I do find that sometimes listening to short and sweet meditations that remind me to do the most important thing a person can do when they're stressed, which is breathe, is super helpful. So I want you to start by just 
making yourself feel relaxed. And if you're walking, that's fine. If you're sitting, uncross your legs, uncross your arms. If you're walking, maybe dangle your arms a little bit so that there's movement throughout your body. And no matter what you feel during this meditation, there's no right or wrong. You know, your mind might be spiraling or it might be calm, but either way, you're devoting the next couple of minutes to just helping yourself breathe. So find any comfortable position that you can and close your eyes. Roll your shoulders forward. Now move them back. Take your head and swing it from side to side. Take your left ear and place it as close to your left shoulder as you can. Now swing your head to the center and take your right ear and move it closer to your right shoulder. Feel the tingling, the sensation throughout your body to move and ignore it. Now focus on your breathing. Notice how there's air flowing in and out. Simply just notice the movement of breath throughout your body. Notice any thoughts that you have, but don't dwell on them. Let them pass and still focus on that breath. Inhale, and then push it out, exhale. As you're filling your body with the inhale, notice how the air makes your whole entire body feel full. Notice how the space in your lungs becomes smaller after you push out the exhale and it leaves your body Breathe in, breathe out. Feel your chest and your stomach rise and fall with each breath. Now as you inhale, count silently, one. As you exhale, count, one. Wait for the next breath, then count again. One, exhale, one. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. Continue to count your inhales and your exhales as one. Notice how your body feels. See how calm and gentle and slow your breathing is. How relaxed your whole body feels. Now it's time to incorporate the sounds around you. So keeping your eyes closed, listen. What's happening around you? Feel the floor beneath you or the couch you're sitting on. Feel the clothes against your body. Take those toes and, and move them. Wiggle your fingers. Open your eyes and just stay still for a few seconds longer. Straighten out your legs and stretch your arms. Sit for a few more moments and keep breathing. Inhaling in, one. Exhaling out, one. Continue to do this for as long as you need, knowing that the simple art of breathing strengthens your mind, calms your body, and prepares you to take on the world. Now, as you re-enter that party, or that work function, or that to-do list that's overwhelming, know that at any moment when you feel like it's just too much, pause, breathe. Remember to think about the oxygen in your lungs, and then push it, push it, push it all out. Listen, friends, I'm here with you this holiday season, and I never want you to feel alone. And if you are, or you just want to hang out, you know where to find me. On Instagram, I'm at Jen Glance. You can send me a DM anytime that you want. On Facebook, come hang out with us in the secret. You're not getting any younger Facebook group. There are over 1,400 people in there ready to talk to you. A lot of personal discussions happening in there. You will never feel alone inside of that group. Lots of cool events happening in 2020. So join the group so that you can see what's popping up in your city around the country. And finally, my dear friends, if you love this podcast, the best way to show it 
is to comment on iTunes. Just scroll all the way down as you're listening to the podcast. Rate and review the show. Why are we asking for that? Every podcast out there, it just helps keep the show available to you. And it helps us bring on some really awesome guests week after week after week. So head there, say hello, rate and review us so that other people can find the show. Shout out to Lizzie who reviewed us last week saying great energy and positive outlooks, helpful information. You need this podcast in your life. Thank you so much, Lizzie. Your review means everything to us. Hey, you out there listening, back next week with another episode. Until then, all my love, Jen Glantz. Hey, you. Thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen too. Oh, and join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glantz.